I'm going to start out with kind of a, a little bit of a story. Um, next week, I'm going to have to say goodbye or part ways with a really good friend. And this is a friend that I've met all over the world. We've gotten to travel together, we've gotten to hang out, we've gotten to have some really funny moments, probably a few tears in the, in the middle of that. Um, very loyal friend, has followed me, has been with me, we've, yeah, we've had a very good relationship. But at the end of the day, um, this, this, I can't say person, but is definitely at the point where it's no longer healthy for them or for me. It's not going to be a good relationship anymore. So I'm going to have to say goodbye. And I'm feeling kind of guilty. I feel a little emotionally attached. But if you see the next picture, you'll see why. This is my luggage. <laughs> is there one more picture or is that it? Is that the only one? All right. Okay, this is what it looks like normally. But if you look over on the right-hand side, this, the, the wheel, I don't even know how it's still moving, but it is. Um, purchased this about 12 years ago, and it's been awesome. It literally has traveled all over the world. If this bag could talk, it would have some stories. But I was thinking, I was like, why am I so like, attached to this bag? Well, part of it is because I feel like the airline industry and the luggage manufacturers are in some type of conspiracy. And if you've noticed, like, all of the carry-on luggages are tiny now. They're super small. Whereas 10 to 12 years ago, they actually could fit things. So I was just, I'm sticking to my principle and being like, no, I'm allowed to have this much space. So <laughs> I'm going to find the bag that I can replace that will allow me to do exactly the same thing. And I've been looking and I've been looking and I've been looking and kind of finally found something. But it made me laugh because I thought, isn't that how we all are? We all have something that we are kind of quirky about, or funny about, or cheap about, while something else we do or have in life is super expensive. So for you guys, you all have beautiful machines in front of you. I'm guessing $2,500 or more, after tools and toys and everything else. But you probably stick it in a bag that you got at a trade show. <laughs> you don't even care about. Or for me, I live in an area where for two or three bucks, I can take a taxi to almost anywhere in the city. I also own a car, but the bus is eight cents. It's the principal. Why would I spend more? It gets me exactly where I need to go, and I don't have to stress about parking. Um, I was talking to a friend yesterday, and they were saying that they meet friends sometimes at a fancy hipster coffee shop, but they park 12 blocks away because they want free parking. <laughs> right? So all of us have something that we were funny about. Maybe we stick to. Maybe someone else looks at us, and they think we're crazy. But as I pulled out my bag for the last time for this trip, and I was like, I'm sticking to my principal. And I thought, you know, I'm in a room full of people who probably do the same thing. So at the end of the day, what is it for you? Is it something that, yeah, your colleagues or your family members think you're crazy about, but you, you stick to when you love and you laugh, and that's what makes us all unique. So what's your principal? That's my shark bite.